Hey, fanboy nation. This is your pal Daffy Duck, and you're watching. You're watching. We're watching. You're watching. Fanboy. 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 A fanboy, etc. Fanboy nation. Dot. I assume. Uh, um. <laughs> Carly Oliveira, how are you today? Escape Room Tournament of Champions is coming out Friday, July 16th. Uh, let, let's pun it up. It's going to be a killer. Absolutely, man. I can't wait for everybody to go check it out. Hopefully, they don't feel like they're trapped in the escape room along with us when they watch the movie. But actually, you know what, bro? That would be a great idea. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the director. Like, if they went to go watch the film, like on the third third sequel or something like that and they're going to watch a movie escape room and then as they're in the theaters the doors close and then gas comes out that would be a great idea actually thank Dude, you man. that'd be scary as all hell that happened to me 28 days later we were watching the movie and then all of a sudden the air conditioner kicked on and we heard oh. and we thought we were going to get gas we're like oh this is getting weird i knew it man i knew it yep they're onto something they're onto something you know well the third one tournament of champions international is what it's going to have to be that exactly well you know what it's so funny because we actually filmed this in south africa but they make it seem like it's in chicago i'm from chicago I, when i watched that first film i was like man that shit ain't chicago i did not know for a fact that it's not but yeah bro that, it would have to be international well you got so much going on right now man i mean escape room itself you got domino battle of the bones uh, yes. which is a great flick step it up high waters you know east los high everything like you're, you're making it happen for yourself and you're building your career. I remember when you were in Blood Heist and, you know, that was a fun flick on top of it. Like, yes, man. You're becoming like the Hispanic king of horror movies at this point. Bro, uh, you know what, man? I've been manifesting it, bro. And, and, and you know, it's, 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 I'm, so, it's so I'm so glad you said that, man, because I, people ask, like, what is, you know, what is your favorite thing to audition for? I am very good when it comes to, like, pulling from this like life or death type of situation. Like I, I'm good at like making sure that uh, I'm exuding all this energy. Um, I prefer like these type of like really high pressure, you know, I mean, cause I, my, my, my dream would to be in an action film or, or, or something like 300, um, you know, not only as a singer, I would love to be in, you know, in La La Land and in, in, in the Heights, but as far as all these other things, like, I love this horror stuff because if if it's done right, you can do anything. To be honest with you, yeah, man. And you're and you're out there. You know, like the genre itself uh, has taken so many turns. Like ten years ago, the big thing was torture porn, which I wasn't the most fan of. But Escape yes. Room has that like torture porn vibe, but yes. it's all psychological messing with you. And I'm just like, oh, that makes it worse because it's like, you know, this could actually happen if we went to a real escape room and something went haywire. Absolutely, man. No, I felt the same way. And I know what you're talking about when it comes to the torture porn. You're talking about like Hostel and, and Saw. And it was around that time where it was basically like, it was just gory and not really any plot points. It was just blood and just, you know, guts. And then you saw fingers flying everywhere all the time. So yeah, man, I, I, I like the fact that, because really as a viewer, man, we've seen it all. You know, we've really seen it all. There's a reason why we stopped watching a certain amount of Freddy Krueger's or it stopped. We stopped with Chucky or how many times does Michael Myers need to die? <laughs> Literally, he's died 17 times and they still come out with these movies. I think what's great with this man is, you know, like you said, these are real life situations. And what I feel is better than the first film uh, is the fact that we're now utilizing real life situations with these rooms. You know, now you end up in the New York subway station or now you end up where you think you're on the streets of Times Square and realistically, you're still within the escape room. Um, we are right now living in an escape room with everything that's kind of going on with our world right now, and especially for the seven months that we were in quarantine. So um, I think it's great, man. And we, as I mean, well, I, th I feel like the directors and the writers, they need to start penning together a lot more scripts like this to where you don't necessarily need to see somebody getting shanked or blood all the damn time. We want to feel like we're in this, you know, immersive experience. We've seen it all. So if we're going to pay our money to do it, give us something that is worth watching more than once. See, you know, I'm, I'm paranoid enough as it is. <laughs> so like when people are like, oh, you know, you want to go to an escape room, like an actual escape room. Like a few years ago, th they were doing all the horror escape rooms out here for yeah. Halloween and stuff. And like, you want to go? I was like, no, because the way my mind works, it's going to yep. end up like the movie. Yep. So like, what's it like for you to go to an escape room after being in an escape, mo uh, escape room movie? 
Bro, I hate it because people be putting so much damn pressure on me and they make it seem like, oh, we're going to win. We got Lito. We got Carlito with us. Like, I'm like, yo, you you must not have watched the movie, huh? <laughs> but, uh, you know, even before I filmed The Escape Room, man, um, I was an avid fan of Escape Rooms. Like, I had probably, all together, I've done like 16 Escape Rooms. And back before I filmed this Escape Room, I had probably done like 13. And I died in all of them. Died in all of them. These last two that I've done this past year, I beat, which I was so proud of myself because in my mind, I'm like, yo, these, I went with a group of people that were just, I guess, you know, they, they weren't too savvy. In my, in my mind, I'm tearing everything off the wall. And whenever they say, hey, don't move this object, if it's not moving, I'm like, damn that. Look, I don't want to take no chances. I'm moving everything. Um, so yeah, man, I, I love it. I love it. And I mean, if you think to it, if you think about it, if you were in a real life situation and somebody kidnapped you and says, oh, I'm not going to kill you just yet, but I'm going to give you about 45 minutes to an hour to see if you're smart enough to escape. If you do, you're, you're, you can go free. Would we really be able to? Most times, if you're by yourself, you probably can't. But I think it's pretty cool to kind of train your brain in a real life or death situation. Not that we ever want to be in one, but that we don't freak out and that we take the time to, you know, breathe it out and, 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 and pay attention. All right. I do have to ask this because I know we only got a couple of minutes left and you do have two movies coming out relatively close to each other with this and with Domino Battle of the Bones. Yes. What's scarier, an escape room itself or, you know, we miss him dearly, the late Tiny Lester Jr. getting upset at you? Oh, yeah. I think I think Tiny Lester, RIP to him, in an escape room would be the, the right there. You can't win. You can't win. So you mean to tell me I got to fight him? And I got to escape. No, I'm good. I'm going to just, you know, <laughs> lay back, bruh. <laughs> yeah, you're like, save your extra 40 minutes. I'm, I'm done. Exactly. Ain't no point. Ain't no yeah. point, you know? You know, we, we've seen the movie and, you know, we had six Saw movies. We had Jigsaw. We had Spiral, which just came out. That, that puts them at eight movies with that. This is our second one with Escape Room. Yes. And, you know, the twists and turns keep coming with this one, with, whereas the other franchise kept getting grosser and grosser. You know, why should people need to come back and revisit Escape Room with this sequel if people already have that mindset of, all right, we saw what the torture porn was with, with movies like Saw and Hostel and all that? I think I think it's great and that people should put a little bit of the effort to want this because if not, we're just going to continue to get more sauce. You know, we're just going to continue to get more of a different version of these little gimmicks of, of being trapped in other places. And I feel like with Escape Room, the one thing that they're doing that's different is, you know, they're really trying to push the envelope of trying to make things scary without showing the scariness. They're leaving it to your imagination. And I think that speaks levels because what, what we got the new Michael Myers again coming out. You know, it's just like how many times it's just. I, I think, I think, and not only that, by giving a chance to a franchise like Escape Room and giving them the, you know, one, the trust that they won't be using the same gimmicks every single movie, which they didn't in this case, I think it's also going to lead other networks and studios to get great writers to want to write something even better or different in their own, in their own way. And I think, if anything more escape rooms are going to pop up all around the world and people are going to just now start coming up with their own type of, uh, uh, of ideas, man. So I think we need it, especially, I just think we need good films, man. We need good films because you know how many millions of dollars they be like approving for these films. If they're going to be doing it, they might as well do them good. You know, I dig it, man. Carlito last question before I let you go. And before yes. we get to the social media plugs and escape room, uh, tournament yes. of champions on July 16th, what is the one place that you would personally be scared to be trapped? Oh, um, one place that I would personally, um, the zoo with a gorilla. If, you know, they never thought of that in an escape room. Like if you were lit literally trapped with, with, with live wild animals, like that's why I give credit to the gladiators back in the day, bro. They fought lions yeah. and lost. <laughs> You know, and they had a spear. That's it. You know, so I think I think if if there was like a real life escape room where they really did had to do minimal stuff, and you just it was a battle of you running around these creatures. I think being trapped in the, in a, in a cage with with a with a beast would be definitely intense and tough. You can't play dead to those creatures. See, you're more rational than me. My biggest fear would be trapped in a musical. But uh... <laughs> that'd be cool, man. Yeah. That would... <laughs> 
Carlito, I love and talking to you. I could be here for another hour. Time. And if you have to sing your, <laughs> sing your thoughts, what do we do? Yeah, exactly. We can't escape. Yes, that'd be great, man. <laughs> but Carlito, I got the one minute warning, man. Hit me up yes. with, with uh, social media and let everybody know Escape Room, July 16th. Got you, man. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Carlito Olivero. Please check me out on Instagram at Carlitosway89. Same for Twitter. And if you're not doing anything this Friday, please, please, please go check out Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions. It's a psychological thriller, and the world is now starting to open up again. So obviously, definitely safely, if you can go to the movie theaters and check it out. But if not, you can still watch it from the safety of your own home. Um, also dropping a new song and music video on July 16th because it's my birthday and it's my birthday present to you guys. Please enjoy and uh, God bless everybody. Uh, happy birthday and thank you everybody so much for setting this up for me. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, man.